Pompe disease is a progressive and potentially life-threatening genetic neuromuscular disorder. When symptoms present in individuals one year of age and older, the disease is most often referred to as late-onset Pompe disease, or LOPD. LOPD is characterized by progressive weakness in the trunk and proximal muscles, as well as the group of muscles surrounding the pelvis. This may affect a person's mobility, making it difficult to walk, climb stairs, stand up from a chair, and reach overhead. Weakness in the diaphragm and other respiratory muscles also cause progressive respiratory disease. Since LOPD presents as a spectrum of symptoms that can mimic other neuromuscular disorders, a diagnosis can often be delayed and difficult. One of the visible symptoms of LOPD is difficulty climbing stairs, which is characterized by the need for handrail support, relying on upper body strength, and the inability to support body weight on one leg. The following videos were created using motion capture technology of actual patients diagnosed with LOPD. Some patients with Pompe disease may be more severely affected or have a longer disease duration. Brian is a 44-year-old man with LOPD. As with many people with LOPD, weakness in the pelvic girdle and proximal muscles makes it difficult for Brian to climb stairs. Notice how Brian relies on the support of handrails. He is unable to lift one leg while supporting himself on the other and can only climb one step at a time. Overcompensating weak core muscles with upper body strength is a characteristic of LOPD. When using two handrails, Brian relies on his arms to pull his body up one step at a time. Similarly, when Brian descends the stairs, he requires the support of a handrail for balance at each step. This is Susan, a 50-year-old woman who has LOPD. Susan is more severely affected by the disease. Weakness in her proximal muscles and pelvic girdle makes it challenging for Susan to climb stairs, typical of a person with LOPD. Notice how Susan has difficulty lifting one leg while supporting herself on the other, limiting her to climbing or descending one step at a time when using one handrail. She also uses her free hand to push off her leg to compensate for her pelvic and proximal muscle weakness. When using both handrails, Susan is able to use her upper body strength to compensate for weak core muscles by pulling herself up the stairs and supporting herself going down, allowing her to alternate legs as she climbs. This is Karen, an 18-year-old woman with LOPD. Some patients may be less severely affected or have experienced a shorter disease duration when assessed. Upon first look, it appears that Karen has no difficulty climbing stairs supporting her weight on one leg while lifting the other. But you can see that she relies on the handrail for support and that her hand remains on the rail for the entire flight of stairs. Unsteadiness that results from pelvic and proximal muscle weakness requires Karen to use the handrail to help her maintain balance. Robert is a 28-year-old man with LOPD. Robert appears to be visibly healthy and asymptomatic as he is able to climb and descend the stairs without relying on a handrail. Not all patients with LOPD will portray physical abnormalities characteristic of weak core muscles. Some patients may be less severely affected or have experienced a shorter disease duration when assessed. So it's important to take all symptoms into consideration, such as general muscle weakness, exercise intolerance, or shortness of breath. If you notice any of these characteristics in your patients, consider a GAA enzyme assay or genetic testing to test for Pompe disease.